So I met a friend today in the city, and he says, Harley, you guys have become very transparent over the years. What's motivated you to be more transparent? And I'm like, interesting. I didn't know what that really meant until a few years ago. I remember someone said something about me. I, you know, that Harley guy, he's pretty transparent. And I was like, what do you mean by that? He goes, well, we can tell what your, what your thoughts are, what your intentions are. You're pretty transparent. You're easy to read. You don't have a hidden agenda. I was like, okay, interesting. Is that a compliment or what? He goes, yeah, it's a fucking compliment. <laughs> so ever since I learned that terminology, I'm like, mm, I want to be more transparent. I don't want to have an agenda. Well, actually, I do have an agenda. I want to see you fit as fuck, lean, healthy, without having to starve yourself and go insane. That's my agenda. <laughs> it's not to make a lot of money on you or whatever. Basically, in the raw food industry, we have a lot of people out there who understand the average time span someone's in the raw foods is maybe a week to a month average people are just looking for diets what's the diet look on youtube so there's no mistake that our biggest hitting videos in that raw food scene are ones that are based on weight loss there's no surprise to that if i do a video interviewing robin barbaro about diabetes that gets a few thousand hits people don't really care most people would rather die than change the diet but when you talk about weight loss they're like well i'd I want to be skinny. I mean, I, you know, if I was sick, I'd rather die, but I just want to get lean. What do I eat? <laughs> eat bananas. Oh, I'll, I'll try it out <laughs> for a week. <laughs> so that's why we're being transparent. We give people a goal. We we'll give people something that's achievable. We take our shirts off. We freely stands in bikinis. We show our stomachs or whatever. Put our blood tests up. Put our blood tests up. We upload our content to Strava. I use my power meter on there. I show all my heart rate, my wattage data, pace per minute on the run. Transparent as. We want to be as transparent as possible. With the agenda, we want to help as many people as possible. We don't want to hide any secrets. When people came to my YouTube talk at Woodstock Fruit Festival this year, I pretty much gave them everything that I knew. There's no secrets. Another, another thing people go, why do you let people upload your videos and monetize them? You and Freely are fucking crazy. I said it before, but there's a video called Sexy Naughty Fruits. I'll put a link, link down below. Over 32 million views. That's at least fifty to $60,000 US that person's earned off our backs, which we don't mind at all. We're <laughs> like, fucking lucky dip, wasn't it? That's fine. That's totally fine. We encourage everyone to upload our videos, and a lot of people have. So we've done the math, because you can estimate how much someone's earning on YouTube. You go to socialblade.com, you type in the channel name, and you quickly work out an average what they're getting. So I did the math the other day. About $100,000 people are earning, multiple people, in total about hundred grand US people are earning from uploading our videos collectively. Does that make sense? So this one video, they got about probably 50, 60 grand. Their channel is probably 70 grand total for the year. We don't even know who they are. <laughs> but we don't really care. We don't really care because we're all going to get the message out there. That's our agenda. Not to make money on you. People say, you guys in the money. That's why you monetize stuff. No, no, no. We're directing corporate marketing dollars into dollars that get spent you know where. <laughs> Call it the Robin Hood of the internet, whatever you want. My, my, my brain's about that big. It's about the size of a macadamia. But I understand about to change the system, you've got to use the system. Generating income, and then, oh, well, when I walked in the other day, I spent two hundred and fifty-one dollars or whatever it was on a one day worth of fruit. Who do you think paid for that? Who do you think paid for that? The organic farmers? They didn't pay for that. So that's why we do it. We be transparent. We let people upload our content, our videos, monetize them, whatever. Spend the money wisely. Buy a nice bike. Change the system. Every dollar you spend is a vote for what you believe in. So, being a poor, struggling fruitarian on welfare, I've done that. And that's great. You're time rich. You get a lot of experience. But I wasn't really supporting many organic farmers, was I? Because <laughs> most of the food my friend was giving to me, you know, at the fruit shop or I was with foraging or whatever. But we weren't really changing economies being that struggling, were we? Bottom line. Bottom line. Every dollar we spend is a vote for what we believe in. We aren't going to change shit being purists or whatever. That's a great virtue to have, but you've got to step back and look at the bigger picture. Why would you reject 
you know, let, let's say someone from Monsanto came to you with a $500,000 suitcase full of money and said, you know what? I want to give this to you so you can promote the vegan message on YouTube. <laughs> what, what would you do? I'm not going to take money from Monsanto. I'm going to get that suitcase personally. I'm going to go, thanks for that. <laughs> I'm going to use this money to fucking spread the message of truth. That's what I'll be doing. Use the system to change the system. So be transparent. We're transparent. Because what we've seen, especially in the raw food world, is people will put up this illusion of what they're doing, but then behind the scenes they're doing something else. A lot of that's just for marketing, because they want to sell snake oil. But sometimes people are just sincerely like, well, this is what I think should be done. This is what I do, though, but I don't want to show this because I'm not proud of it. I want people to think I'm perfect. I'm fully raw and gleaming and smiling all the time. But behind the scenes, this is the reality. I don't want people to see that, though. I can understand, but sometimes it's good to be honest and transparent. Because if you're putting yourself on such a high pedestal, no one else is going to really try and reach that. Because it's just like, they're, like, they're sitting there like, oh, fuck. In cycling, we have a word called attack. You're in the bicycle race, and you attack your competition. You just go past them, you drift off the back, and then you just hit them so hard, you go past so fast, they're just like, the subconscious sees that and, the, and just thinks, oh... Yeah, it's just too fast. And for a split second, you you hesitate, and that gives you even more of a gap, and then it's just too late to, to bridge the gap, generally. But if you just go past a bunch slowly like that, people jump on your wheel. So what we're trying to do is go past people or be around people and slowly sort of moving forward a little bit just so people can see the example and go, oh, I can do that, versus just go straight past, and people go, huh. or some, people, some young people are like, I'm going to I'll chase and they give up after a week or two weeks or whatever. How many people are really doing the lifestyle long term? <laughs> Not many. Reason being, it's just so fucking hard. It's just so hard getting the fruits, having the money to afford the fruits. <laughs> it's just such a tough thing. Even in the US, people write me, Harley, it's so expensive in the US. It must be paradise in Australia. <laughs> I'm like, are you serious? Come to Australia, look at the prices. Someone said that, I'll get, I don't know what you're talking about, Harley. I'll get like mangoes for 80 cents each. In Australia, year round. I'm like, bullshit, man. I'll give you $100,000 US if you can show me a store in Australia that sells mangoes for 80 cents each year round. They don't even have to be edible. They can be the worst tart, acidic, poison dip mangoes on earth. I don't care. You show me this place that's 80 cents each year round. That's bullshit. What you've probably done is, you're interested in raw foods, you've gone to the supermarket or some market and you've seen these mashed up fucking chemical dimethoate dipped <laughs> mangoes in some box in the corner and it says 80 cents each you're like oh 80 cents I was doing what is wrong <laughs> I understand where you're coming from but it's not reality alright do the lifestyle for over a decade and you'll soon work out what's going on but I appreciate people's enthusiasm to try and not prove it's wrong but go you can do this whatever that's cool I appreciate that but when you see it for our eyes or go with us you soon work out what's going on. So we want to be transparent as much as possible, doing our daily food vlogs, etc., or blood tests, or training journals, etc. Come train with us, whatever. Come to Thai Fruit Festival next year. Come out and hang with us, eat with us, train with us. We won't charge you any money. Just get your asses over there. It's all free. We want to create not bank regeneration. We don't want to be bank regenerators for ourselves. We want to we generate everyone's health and fitness without drugs. The simple tools that anyone can do anywhere in the world. And so we're broadening our message out there. The vegan message, the high carb message, the fruit message, the low fat, low sodium message. The simple living message. That's what we want to inspire people to take on board, take home into their lives via the internet, especially via YouTube. So hopefully that answers a few questions. Why are we so transparent? We just want to fucking help people.